nerd soul. My name is Felipe Smith. I'm a writer artist. And I create comic books and work in animation. And currently I'm working on a creator owned series called Death Metal Zombie Cop. Um, I also co created Robbie Ray's Ghost Rider. I wrote uh, the first four trades of the character, including uh, his origin story and everything else. Um, and I also uh, co designed them. And yeah, I did character designs on Ninja Turtles, the 2012 show, which was a CG show on Nickelodeon. And I did People Chew, which is the first manga series uh, published by a Westerner in Japan through the largest publisher in Japan, which was Kodansha at the time, and probably still currently the largest in terms of volume of books that they publish. Uh, yeah, that's what I do. I tell stories. Uh, it's a story I came up with after finishing People Chew in Japan. And I've uh, kind of marinated for a while and I added things to and then actually used as a template for another story that I came up with after that for uh, this other story is something a lot of you may know. And uh, basically it takes place in LA. It's about two police officers, uh, a 23 year old uh, training officer who's about to quit her job and a 40 year old rookie who's just starting out at the age of 40. Uh, I did a Kickstarter for it. A Kickstarter for it in 2017, just two years ago. It's a story that deals with a lot of things I think are important. It's about policing and what it means to be a police officer, what the law is, and how people have different conceptions of what that is. I think nowadays it's actually an issue which um, concerns a lot of people for obvious reasons. We've seen it in the news now for the last couple of years. Um, that theme is is explored thoroughly through the series, and of course. Um, there's a supernatural element, which is this character that is undead and has uh, supernatural powers. But it's very much a story grounded in reality until we hit those themes. Uh, and it's a story about L.A. I mean, I, L.A. I've lived in a couple different cities. Uh, I was born in Akron, Ohio. I moved to Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I was raised. So I lived there from 5 to 18. Then I came back to the States for college and went to Chicago, Illinois. I lived there four and a half years. Then I came to L.A. I was here for seven years, and then 2008, I moved to Tokyo, Japan, and I lived there for four years, where I did a series, and then I came back to LA. So I've lived in a, a lot of different cities, and LA is the city probably that I enjoy the most, because I find a little bit of every other city I've lived in in one city. And, uh, and it's also the only city where any day I can speak uh, any of the three languages I speak, in the same day by just going to a different part of town. So I can speak Spanish in a lot of areas of LA actually, English obviously everywhere, and then certain areas I can speak Japanese as well. So it's like, it's a city I, I don't know, I feel at home in. And, uh, and so this story actually, uh, the city of LA is another character in the story of Death Metal Zombie Cop. So if you're, uh, if you're an Angelino, LA native, or if you've lived in, in LA for a long time, or if you're, you've visited a few times, Especially if you know the city well, this book is probably close to, close to your heart in the terms of me including things that have happened and that we've seen in the news and making them part of my story, but showing you a different side. That's why the tagline says, based on a true story, there's a lot of things in this story that are actually true and that can be verified, but they're seen through a different lens. You can find me online on Twitter, at Felipe Tweeters, uh, T -E -E. T-W-E-E-T-E-R-S. Actually, if you look up Felipe Smith Twitter, Twitters, you'll just find me. So all that Twitter, Twitter has been confusing, but just look me up. Um, Felipe Smith Art on Instagram. Uh, I'm on Tumblr, same thing, Felipe Smith Art. I'm also on uh, DeviantArt. I guess you could just Google Felipe Smith and whatever platform you are most used to uh, going on, and then you'll find my uh my profile there and yeah check it out I, I try to keep people informed on what i've been working on and what my new projects are and what my old projects are for people who are interested in what i've done before the things they know and uh yeah i'm out there i'm online actually the first time i ever dealt with the supernatural was when i first started death metal zombie cop after doing people chew and the second time ever that i've ever written anything supernatural was Robbie Reyes' all new Ghost Rider for Marvel. For supernatural things, uh, done in the right way, I love it. Uh, but I don't like everything in the supernatural genre. Although I like it, I much, I prefer 
uh, slice of life stories with um, kind of an over the top aesthetic to them. So everything that's happening is things that we understand and that are part of everyday life for most of us. But I inject a little bit of uh, adrenaline and, uh, you know, make it a little bit, you know, because it's a comic book medium. So, I mean, uh, you can pretty much do on a, a, the lowest budget possible anything you want. You can do some of the most incredible things just by drawing it on a piece of paper without the need of expensive CG or the top A-listers in, in, in Hollywood. You can create all of that yourself on paper. And that's why I like comics so much, is I can be my own director, my own writer, my own designer, my own actor, my own you know, script writer. I can do everything myself. And so that's why I like that comic book medium, is I can kind of rely on one person and, you know, other mediums, you, you, know, you got to work on it with a team and, uh, and, you know, communication is key and everybody has to be on the same page for things to come out, you know, really well. But when you're just working by yourself, you're always on the same page. You're on any page, it's just you. So that's why I like comic books.